Hey everybody, welcome back to Race Formula 90. Uh, here we are at Monza, about to enter our second round. We're in the first turn. I'm sure it'll be very, very exciting to see who comes out of this turn in the lead. But before we do that, a couple little bookkeeping things. Oh, Paulo, I made some mistakes. I did a bad, bad thing. Um, when in the, in the gameplay run through, when I did my check, uh, when I hit the late braking spot and decided to do a check, I checked against my old 62. Remember, I was, I was really ca cautious. I had to check in 62. That was a mistake. You only check against this when a card tells you to check. Like if I had this card and I wanted to do it, I'd have to do a check minus 20, so I'd have to check against this as a 42. But when, you check, when you're doing a late braking maneuver, you don't check against your target card. You check against what the board says. This is a fairly easy corner to um, pass in. I had to beat this 60. I didn't have to beat this 62, I had to beat this 60. Now remember I did, I drew a 32. But here's the important thing. The 32 did not become my new target check, it got discarded. So I've still got my nice big fat 62 for checks later on down the road. Right, because I beat this 60, not this 60. Okay, so just FYI, I goofed that up a little bit, but now let's continue. Okay, oh also, I don't know why, I moved the yellow off of here, I should have kept him right there with, it, with his plus one green, so that's all cool. So, it's the second round, we've already moved the timer up. Now, we find the leader, this guy, he's still in lead, and now normally, on a regular turn, uh, you know, in a straightaway, or actually in a braking spot, he'd just be able to go. But we're in a corner and he's not alone. When a corner space gets activated, the person, the people at the back of the pack can offer a contest, it's called. They can contest to try to muscle their way up to the front. And that's what's going to happen. It starts with Jen. Jen decides if she's going to enter a contest or not. She says, yes, she is. And now what that means is she has to take from her hand of cards. And she doesn't get to draw yet. It's not her turn yet. She takes from her hand two cards and plays them face down. Now, we don't care about anything other than the plus values. So Jen's gonna take th her two highest cards, her plus three and her plus three, and she's gonna play them face down. This is her attempt to try to muscle to the front. Now, she chooses, uh, I think she's gonna choose these because after the contest is over, no matter what happens, these cards are frozen and cannot be used in the round. So I think she's gonna get rid of these because she wants to hold on to this card because this one, um, you know, this one takes, she takes damage. She takes two damage or she takes one damage and some tires. This one is two, but there's no card damage. So she'll keep this one around. She's gonna declare these two cards. Now, it's my turn. I can engage in the contest myself or I can pass. If I pass, I'm immediately gonna move behind Jen because effectively I have a zero plus zero. So I'll move to the back of the pack, but I, and you know, maybe if you don't have enough cards, because over time you will start running out of cards and card man hand management will become a big deal. But as it is right now, I got a lot of cards early on. I'm going to put in a, my only fours, a four and a four, because I am serious about winning this contest. I want to come out of this corner in the lead. Right. Now, it's on to the robots. Now, robots will always defend themselves. If somebody is uh, you know, aggressively moving up on them, they will defend. And the way a robot does a contest is they just draw two cards blind. So we'll see what they get. Now, if he gets a four and a four, that means he beat, he ties me for my four and four, and neither of us will change positions, but we'll both take a point of damage because we kind of banged into each other for a while. Oh, also, if you have banging wheels, banging wheels gives you plus three to whatever card you play in a contest. So that banging wheels is all about, you know, put, punching through people to get out in front. But Jen, she's trying to save her tires. I'm just trying to be hazardous, right? So this guy, he drew cards. And the guy in the lead, he's going to try and protect himself as well. So he draws two cards. Okay, everybody is in this contest. And now everybody reveals. We know I've got my 4-4. Four, four. Jen's got her 3-3. Three, three. Now let's see what the bad guys do. Guy in the lead, a 3-2. He's a 5. The next guy, ah, a 4-3. So that guy has some plans of his own. Okay. Now, there's a little bit more going on. We're in the turn um, via Retiflio, or Redif, Redifilo, Redifilo. Via Redifilo is, is the corner we're in right now. And the, you know, so this one has a plus three. That means everybody except the current leader in this corner when they're in a contest gets plus three added. Because this corner, it is very, very difficult for the leader to hold on to. You'll notice other corners, there's no bonus. Or in this corner, um, the, uh, oh, oh no, no, I'm sorry. This is a corner that's tough for a leader to hold on to. 
Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Da, da, da. All right. The bonus is always applied to everybody but the leader. So the leader has an advantage. He doesn't get this negative two in this, um, but in this one where it's going to be hard to hold on to, this guy does not get plus three, but everybody else gets plus three. And so that means there is definitely some shifting, although Jen's kind of bummed because this player is faster than her. So effectively, since this guy didn't get the plus three, he's really at effectively, um, you know, he's got this plus three, but then minus three. So he's really at a two for all intents and purposes. He is definitely, the leader is going to move into last place. Um, because again, it's hard to hold on to the lead in these corners. It's easier in other corners. Right. So who's the top? That would be me. I got my four plus four plus three puts me in the lead. Hello, everybody. I am now the leader. And now this guy... He's in last place. The leader has sunk all the way to the back and uh, to the pack. Now it's between Jen and the other yellow. Unfortunately, the other yellow has one more than her. So Jen did not take second place. And so that's too bad. Now the, ba the, the bad guys, I'm gonna call them bad guys. The robot cars, their cards go away. And this is now the new turn of events. I have pushed my way up to the front. Jen's in third place. She basically, well, I guess she moved up one because she was in fourth place. So there we go. Now these cards, we keep them, but they're frozen. We cannot use them on this turn. And now the contest is over and we can continue. I am now the leader, so I will draw a card and we'll see what I'm gonna do. I get a plus two, all right, there we go. Right, now, I can only, let's see, I can move three or I can move two or I could play, remember you can play two twos so I could play two, I can move two, three, or four spaces. That'd be one, two, let's see. So I can move to two, three, or four. If I play my two twos, I'd get all the way up here and I'd be, I'd enter via Rogia. But being the first guy in here, it's gonna be hard for me to hold on to my lead because of that plus two. So I don't think I wanna be the first guy in via Rogia. So I don't think I'll play the two twos to get the four. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play a three. So I go three spaces. So which one am I gonna play? Well, I don't have any of my fours, so I can't play them. I'll play this one because this has the least wear on my tires. So this is the car I'm playing. I lose a tire and I get to move one, two, three spaces. Now, I'm the first person into here. So if I wanted, I could grab this space and next turn, if I had a green card, I'd get plus two movement. I don't have any green cards. So instead of that, even though there's nobody here, I'm gonna be risky. I'm gonna be hazardous and attempt another late breaking maneuver. And this one is a, a bit trickier because here I had to beat a 60. Now I got to beat a 50. But still, that's a pretty good, I, I, th I think it's not going to be too terribly hard to do this because the numbers in here range from 1 to like 80, I think. Maybe it's 90, something like that. So I've still got a better than 50-50 chance of making it through here. Now, if I fail on this blind, I will go off the track. But I'm going to do it because remember, if I succeed, I'm hazardous. And normally, if you succeed, you get to go one extra space. But because I'm hazardous, if I succeed, I get to go two spaces. Whee! So, let's go. Drawing, I, I want to see a number below 51. Less than 51, give it to me, show me. 26, okay, I made it. No problem. So, that means I go forward one, and because I'm hazardous, I go forward again. Now, you cannot do more than one late break maneuver in a turn, so I can't come here. But I go on at, since I'm the first one here, I'll go ahead and grab this plus two green. And hopefully on my next turn, I'll draw a green card so that I can take advantage of that. And now I am way, way in the lead. Next up, the, um, this, go, this guy goes three, one, two, three, and he'll end up grabbing the plus two, which bums Jen out. If she could have gone in front of him, she would have made, moved up there, and then next turn she could take advantage of the, she would have the plus, th she has a green, so she could have gotten this plus two, but it's gone. Now it's Jen's turn. Now how far is she gonna move up? She can't play these cards. I think she's gonna move up anyway. She'll play this plus three, and now it, this would cost her to lose two tires, but because she's saving tires, she only has to lose one. And so she goes one, two, three, and I think Jen's gonna take a chance. She is also going to attempt a late break because that could get her in front of this guy. So, and again, she's just gotta do the same blind draw. See, uh, this would be risky. I mean, if she had to borrow against this, but she just has to beat a 50. So she draws blind, what does she get? If she sees a 51, she'll be very upset. Boom, a 28, folks. No problem, Jen easily defeats the corner and she late breaks and so she is now in second place. Okay, so now both of us, we have both 
pulled away from the pack. Although, before too long, these slowpoke purple guys, they're going to start becoming obstacle scouts because we're going to have to lap them, and that requires a little bit of maneuvering as well. All right, but anyway, so now we continue going. Everybody, is, so we, we always start from the leader. I've moved, 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 moving back. This guy moves. One, two, three. Um, robots never attempt a late break, so he'll just get in line behind the other one. Now, this guy's in the lead, so he gets to move two. Purple's move two, plus two. One, two, three, four. So now he's coming up. And now this guy gets to move three, plus one is four. So he goes one, two, three, four. All right. And, oh, wait, wait, wait. Robots never have to pay to pass anybody, do they? No, but I think that's, you know, if, if he, if this guy had, um, wait, how does that work? Wait a second. Robots, D, 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 robots, overtaking. Overtaking in a straight section costs one movement, or overtaking another robot in any section is free. Oh, robots get to overtake for free. So the interesting thing is, um, this guy came in and overtook this guy. So even though this guy gets a plus two, this guy is in the lead. And then this guy came in, and since robots overtake for free, he came in, and so this guy pushed up to the front. So even though this guy gets the plus two, there are all these guys in front of him. Right, I forgot about that because robots get to overtake for free. So, and now, continuing on, this guy goes, um, you know, and if these guys were all the same color, it really wouldn't matter. Although it did matter because the guy who's in last place is the one who gets the plus two. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, now this guy, he goes, he just goes one, two, and then this guy goes one, two, and he overtakes him, but it doesn't really matter because they're both purple. Okay, that was it. Second round is over. Now, moving on to the third round. Although, wait a minute, one thing they forgot to do in the second round on both Jens and my turn, we both should have drawn a card. You always get to draw a card at the beginning of your turn. So I drew that, Jen drew that. I don't think that really changed what we did. Although, I think, you know what? I think Jen played this card to move her three spaces. Where was Instead of playing this card to move three spaces, she played this card to move three spaces because it only took one tire, which means, because of her saving tires, she didn't use any tires at all. There we go. Sorry, I forgot about that. Got to draw the extra card. Okay. We're moving on to the third round now. I'm in the lead, I'm the leader, so I'm all by myself, so I get to go first. First thing I do, let's not forget to draw a card, dummy. Hey, I got a four, but it's not a green. I really want a green so I could get the bonus of that space, but I didn't. All right, and this is the card I played last turn, and this is the card Jen played last turn. All right, there we go. And our other cards are now unlocked. Right. The cards we used in that contest. Okie doke. So, there we go. So I've got a bunch of cards, and what am I gonna do? I, I, I'm, I'm in the lead, I wanna hold on to that. So I probably, if I had a plus one, I would probably play a plus four and a plus one, so I could move five spaces, because nobody's in my way, and I can just barrel right through this. Let's see, one, two, three, four. If I can move five spaces, I could end up over here and do another late break, and maybe even get two more spaces. But I do not have a plus one, that is heartbreaking. So the best I can do is plus four. Although now I should think about it, because if I only move two spaces, I could end my turn here and get plus two moves later on. But if I only move two spaces, that gives Jen a chance to contest me. If I only move two spaces and get this so I have two bonus points in the future, and you know, this is a race, every bonus point you can get counts. I mean, I'd just be using one of my lower cards, and then on a future turn, I'd move one of my fast cards. That gives Jen a chance to catch up, and then she would probably contest me on the next round. But... I gotta use these lower cards sooner or later, and using, I mean, because if I go only four spaces, I'll go one, two, three, four, and I'll get no bonus here, and that might let Jen slingshot around me. So I think, even though it's a bit crazy, even though I could push farther, if I could push five, I would definitely come up here. Since I can only push up four at the most, I will go one, two, and I'll end on this red space, because that means next turn, I got a lot of red cards, I'll, and I'll get that plus two and a plus four, so next turn, I'll get to move six spaces. Um, although the danger is if Jen beats me in a contest, then I, you know, I might end up, you know, slamming right into her and not be able to move forward, but we'll see how that goes. But I've got a lot of high cards. I think I could beat Jen in a contest, particularly because in this corner, it is not hard for the leader to hold on. So anyway, so I only moved two spaces, even though I could move four. So which plus two did I play? Let's see. Um, well, the nice thing is all my plus twos give me some nice little bonuses. Although I've got so many cards right now. Yeah, I think I will, though. I'm going to play this plus two, 
which it let me move the two forward and it lets me draw two more cards. So that's the card I played and I get to draw two more cards. My hand is very nice. Although still no greens. I cannot get a green to save my life. This is ridiculous. All right, so that was my turn. Now it's Jen's turn. One, two, three. Now Jen cannot move past me. Even if she wanted to move four spaces, she couldn't because she could play two twos or she could play a three and a one, but if she had the excess motion, because I'm in a corner, she can't move past. So, now here's the interesting thing. Does she spend three, one, two, three, and come up here so that next turn she'll do a contest? She knows, though, I had two fours. She saw me play them last time. She sees I didn't play them. She knows I've got them. So she knows she cannot beat me in a contest. Oh, wait, she should draw a card first, and she gets a plus one. She knows she cannot beat me in a contest. So her choice then becomes, does she go one, two, three, and stay behind, or, well, oh, yeah, because she just, she has a plus one. She could go one to get this plus two. She get rid of one of her crappy one cards and draw some more cards. I think that's what she's going to do. Or she could go one and then do another late break, a very easy late break, and get to move two spaces with um, playing only a, a plus one card so she can save her better cards for later. Because again, this is all about hand management. I think she will just move up here though, because she has a green card, so that means next turn she's going to get five movement. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So there we go. So she's only moving one, which means she has to play a plus one. She'll play this one that gives her two cards. One, two, and she just got a four. Oh, she still, she knows I'm still fast because she's seen I have two plus fours at least. Now, of course, I have actually more than that. But, oh, this is getting tough to keep track of all these cards. Okay. Static camera players, you're making it very, very difficult for me to keep track of everything. All right. So, anyway, leader's gone. Jen's gone. Now, the rest of the gang goes. Yellow, he's in the lead here. He gets to move three spaces. One, two. But he's going to stop. And, yell, and dummies, they never, they never, um, what do you call it? They never do... The late breaking, ever. I do not believe they ever late break. Yep, yeah. So he's done. Now, this guy, he's next. He gets to move one, two, one, two. So he ends up being in front of this guy. And then this guy moves one, two. And he ends up being in front of the other, or he ends up being in front of all of them because dummies can pass for free. There we go. And now this guy. And this is a real bummer for him. He gets to move one, two, three, four, five. But unfortunately, there's a big old traffic jam here. So all he can do is just move up to the front. But, um, all right, and do they pass? All right, oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot. Oh, shoot. They will pass Jen. They could actually overtake Jen. So, oh, I, all right, let's, let's go back. Let's see. I think it was a purple, yellow. I think it was like this, wasn't it? Oh, I keep forgetting. Uh, so anyway, Jen's here. So this guy gets, no, it was a purple got to move, I think. So one, two, he has three, four. So he moved in front of Jen, even though Jen still holds on to the plus two. This guy moves one, two. He moves in front of the other guy. Oh, wow. So Jen just pushed all the way to the back of this zone, effectively. But she still has her plus two. Hmm. But she also drew either card. So, right. Because I think everybody, the purple had a plus two, and then everybody else was able to push in front of Jen. So she just got into the back. So maybe she should, if she had pushed ahead, ah, well, then they all just would have, you know, stuck all over each other. So maybe that was a bad move. But on the flip side, she got more cards, and she, well, we'll see how that works out. Now these guys, this guy's in front, he just goes one, two, and then this guy goes one, two. So they're nice and simple. We're done with that round, moving on to the next one. I'm still by myself, so my turn is nice and simple. I draw a card. Now, uh, if I play a, a red card, I get plus two. So I'm going to play a four plus two means I get to go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll end up over here and I can get another bonus later. So I got to play a four. Let's play the least painful one that makes me lose two tires. So I lose two tires and I go four plus two is one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll get another plus one later. I am way out in the lead. But before too long, I'm going to have to start worrying about um, lapping those guys. Right, and so now next area, there's all these guys, the yellows, they go, this guy's in front, so he goes one, two, three, and this guy goes one, two, three, jumps in front of him, this guy goes one, two, three, um, jumps in the middle of, or you know, jumps in front of him, this guy only goes one, two, and ends up taking that, and so that was bad news for Jen, because now Jen is going to be stuck in a contest with this guy. So, oh, I did not think that through very well at all, folks, sorry about that, but, so I guess Jen might as well just move up to... 
<sighs> Which means I think what she'll do is she'll play this plus one so she can draw another card. So she is just strengthening up her hand so she can go longer without having to pit. Although she still can't draw a four to save her life. All right, so anyway, so she um, gets one. Uh, oh, oh, she only goes one. Right, no, she needs to play a green card or else she won't get that bonus. So she won't play that. She'll play this one instead that lets her draw two cards. All right. And she still can't get a four. Arg. But anyway, she went one, two. She got stuck behind this guy. And next turn, she will have a contest with him. Right, the, with, with that slowpoke. Okay. And then these guys, they just go one, two. And these guys go one, two. Easy peasy. All right. Next round. So, um, okay. Me, I'm out in front. Life is simple for me. I just want to play a red, so I get my plus one. I'll play another four. I'm just pedaling it to the metal as fast as I possibly... Although, I see. I'm going to get plus one. So if I go one, two, three, four, and one, I'll miss this. So I really want to only go forward three. Do I have a red three? Yes, I do. I will play this red three, which makes me lose two tires. Wait, actually, I actually forgot to draw my card, didn't I? Right, so there's a plus three. I'll play this red three instead. That makes me only lose one tire. And I'll three plus one is four. One, two, three, four. And so I've hit that spot perfectly. And now all these yellows go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Easy peasy. And now Jen will declare a contest. She wants to pass this guy. So this guy draws two cards to defend himself. And what's Jen going to play? If she gets in front, she's just going to have to deal with this group now. One, two, three, four. But then she can contest with them and push out ahead. So, but that means she'd have to move one, two. Oh, no, but she can do a, a late break and push in as well. So she needs to have a three to be able to get in here so she'll be able to contest with them next turn. So if she keeps a three, that means, yeah, she's going to play a three and a four to try to push past Slowpoke Purple. We reveal. Slowpoke Purple says, ah, six. Jen played seven, so she pushed in front of him, and those are locked. And hey, she just hit a plus two now. All right, so she's got a plus two red. So, although, again, the best she can do is get into that space. Um, which means, if she, hits, if she plays a three, she can late break and get in, or she can play a four and get in. She can play a three plus a one and get in without having to risk the late break. Does she want to do that? Does she want to risk? Oh, wait, and I forgot. Jen should draw a card. Or maybe I, I, I might be forgetting to draw people's cards and then drawing an actual. I feel like I've got way too many cards. I think I've probably been cheating, and I now have more cards than I should. I'm sure Paula will correct it. This feels like more cards than I should have. Ah, so much going on. I keep forgetting. Let's see. Jen will just go forward. I don't think she wants to risk. Because if she risks and fails, she'll end up losing basically a whole turn. So she's just going to play a three plus a one which will get her some more cards. Now this is, makes her lose a tire, but she doesn't because she's saving her tires. Plus one lets her draw another card. And so that's the four she moved. One, two, three, four. And she ended up in last place here. But next turn she'll contest. She'll get to the front of all those guys. And then she'll punch through and start catching up with me. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to end up being slowed down because I'm going to have to start lapping people. All right. So that was Jen's turn. And now purple guy goes. He just goes one, two. And this guy goes one, two. And this guy goes one, two. All right. Easy peasy. Moving on, and pretty soon, one of the yellow guys is going to have to pit. But Jen and I, we don't have to pit for a while yet. Okay, I'm all by myself. I draw a card. I just want to hit the pedal of the metal again. One, two, three, four. If I go four, I, can, I do have some oranges. So yeah, I'm just going to play a plus four. Um, oh, well, this is my last plus four, isn't it? No, it isn't. Right, I'll, I'll do this one, which is really going to shred my tires. I lose three more tires. Now, here's the interesting thing. Actually, I'm not going to lose all my tires. Whenever you have to give up tires, instead, you can give up a card for every tire. So, I got all these extra cards. I'm going to give up some cards. I'll give up, I'll give up um, this one, and I'll give up one tire, and I'll give up this one. All right. So, I only had to give up one tire because I gave up two cards. And then, what was that a total of? Four spaces, or three, yeah, four spaces. One, two, three, four, and I'll hand on this orange, so I'll get that orange bonus next turn. Now, instead, I could, so I could take this orange bonus guaranteed, or I could late break, because I'm hazardous, I'd get a plus two anyway, but I think I'll take the guaranteed plus two instead of the risky plus two. All right. Now, everybody else. Jen's going to declare a contest. She's going to um, play her four, three, and let's see what the other guys do to protect themselves. Uh, let's see, the guy in front of her is a 1-3. 
All right, so Jen beat him. The next guy is a 4-3. Oh, Jen did not beat him. 4-3 and a 4-3. Ouch. That sucks. So Jen passed this guy, but not this guy. And since Jen and this guy butted heads, Jen just took a point of damage. When you take damage, you draw from the cup that has permanent and temporary damage. Jen is hoping for temporary damage, and she got temporary damage. But unfortunately, oh, that really sucks. Okay, so she did not make it. This, uh, she stayed in the back. And now that guy, um, does he still draw? No one's challenging him anymore. I guess he still draws anyway, but it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, no, no, because he can still fall behind the other guy, but they're both yellow, so it doesn't really matter. Because a yellow guy might be in front of a yellow guy. All right, so Jen only pushed up one. That was very disappointing. Where'd her four and her three go? Did I just, just I discarded her four and three when they should be frozen. So that's why she really needed a four. But she just can't draw fours to save her life. This is crazy. Okay, well anyway, so that was the contest. Now it's over. This guy moves one, two, three. He'll take the plus two. This guy moves one, two, three. He'll take the plus one. Jen gets to go now. So she's gonna get stuck here, but she's definitely gonna late break. One, two, three, she's got a late break. And so this will finally be her chance to get around these doofuses. So she needs a plus three. So she'll do this one, which would cost one tire, but it doesn't cost her anything. So she goes one, two, three. She hits the late break. She has to beat a 60 and, oh my God! Wow, Jen cannot catch a break. She gets a 66. And that means she spins out of control whoa, 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 and ends up going off the track. Wow, okay. Now, if we were playing the advanced game, as soon as she spun off the track, she would have to do a check and that would determine what happens, if she goes completely off the track or if she can recover quickly. But, um, you know, she, she don't have to worry about that. You don't do the check. You basically, see, I think, does she come back here or does she come back in here? That I'm not sure about. No, I think, yeah, I think this is where she's gonna come back in. But this is basically gonna put her at the end because these guys are gonna get to move past her before she gets to back on the track because she drew a 66. What are the chances of that? That sucks. So anyway, so these guys move. Now this guy goes one, two, three. This guy goes one, two. And both these guys go one, two. All right, easy peasy. Oh, poor honey pie. All right, moving on to the next round. So, um, I'm still out in front. If I play an orange, I get plus two. I gotta draw a card. I wanna play an orange, I got this plus three. So, I will play this. That means I'm gonna move five and I get to draw two cards, but I lose a tire, I'll lose a tire. And, um, and get to move five. One, two, three, four, five. And, which means I missed that, but that's okay. And I get to draw two cards, one, two. And pretty soon I'm gonna have to deal with lapping these guys. I have to, and every time I lap, I have to make a check. Um, and so they could hold me for a while. But of course, every time I success, or actually I don't remember, I have to check if Hazard gives you a bonus if it's considered Hazard's due lapping. But anyway, so I went. Now you'd think Jen is next, but unfortunately she is off the track. So instead, she cannot go until everybody in this space goes, because effectively she's still on this space. So this guy goes, he goes one, two, three, four, five. This guy goes one, two, three, four. Now Jen gets to go, but her whole turn is just moving back on. And now this guy gets to go, he goes one, two, and he can't go any farther past Jen. This guy goes one, two, one, two, and this guy gets that space, this guy gets that space. Okay, so now we have hit the first pit stop. Whichever yellow is furthest in the lead has to now pit. That's this guy, he's coming up behind me. He has to pit, and in, on this track, pit means you lose six spaces. So he goes back, one, two, three, four, five, six, and ends up being in last space here. And he has just pit, which means he'll still get to move when he comes out of the pit, but he obviously he fell back quite a ways. Now, me, I'm way out in front, I don't get any bonuses, so I'll just play a four. Although, am I out of all my nice fours? No, I still got this four, because I just can't fail at drawing fours. Um, right, so I'll play this one, which loses me a tire, and I'll go one, two, three, four. I missed this bonus, but what the heck. Ah, you know what? I think I will play a three instead. I'll play a three instead, which caused me to lose another tire, but it left me here on this bonus, so I'll get plus two. And instead of losing another tire, I'll just lose this plus one. Die. Or, die. Card. All right, so that was me. Now, um, this guy is next. He's just a three. One, two, three. Um, Jen is up, so sure. Right. So how far is she gonna go? One, two, three, four, five. She could go one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, she can't get, because um, the best she could do is five if she plays a four and a one. First of all, she draws, 
She still can't get a four. Oh my gosh, so sad. Now, it might look like Jen is completely out of the race, that she is completely hopeless, but don't worry, because the, one of the, the catch-up mechanisms is based on the real world is, as I start having to try and lap people, they will fight me and I have to do checks. So that has the potential to slow me down. Once a guy has been lapped, though, they will no longer fight. So when Jen catches up and passes them, she can just zip right by them without having to pay any extra. So passing guys slows me down because I have to pay movement points and I have to do checks. So once I get up to these slow pokes, it's going to slow me down and give Jen a chance to catch back up. Guaranteed, Jen is not out of this game at all. And me, I'm trying to hold a lead, but I'm burning through, and I just happen to be lucky. I keep getting more cards. So anyway, so Jen's turn. She drew a card. What's she going to do? Um, one, two, three, four. So if she does a two, she gets this plus one, but she is so far out, and she has no, no bonus there. I think she'll just go as fast as she can. She'll play the only four she's got and a plus one, so she can go five spaces. Now, this takes two tires, but she gets to draw two more cards, and she has to pay two tires, which she'll go on ahead and do, because she only has to pay one, because she doesn't have to worry about her tires. So she just moved five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Now, um, continuing on, this guy goes one, two, three. This guy goes one, two, three, because he had the bonus. This guy, now he pitted earlier. He was in first place. Now, that's why we put the pit on, because he can still move. Now he gets to go again. He's coming out of the pit, and he gets to go one, two, three, and he passes purple, because they pass each other automatically. And these guys still one, two, three, one, two. Whoops, no, I'm sorry, two. They both go one, two. Oh, wait, no, this guy had a two, plus two. One, two, three, four, and this guy just had a one, two. Okay, so they've split up. All right. And now, moving on, pretty soon the next yellow guy, which will whoever is in first place, is going to have to pit as well. I'm still in the lead. I'm still trying to pass. Um, and what am I going to do? I've drawn a card first. D -d -d. Okay, a plus three. Now, if I, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. I think I want a late break so that I can maybe string forward and, and bounce up two spaces for free. So I'll go one, two, three. I need to go three spaces. And what am I on? I'm on a plus two. So that means all I gotta do, if I play a red one, I will get to do it. I don't have any red ones. I have this orange one. Right, so if I play a red, well, I guess I'll play a red anyway. Let's see. Oh, I've got so many cards now. But I'm running out of all my easy cards. Now, all the cards I've got left, they run through my tires that much quicker. And I'm already low on tires. I might have to pit sooner than I would otherwise have to because I'm getting a little tired. But my, pit, my mandatory pit stop is coming up pretty quick anyway. If I can just hold on, and I've got plenty of cards I can burn instead of burning tires. But anyway, I want to move three spaces. I think I'm going to choose this one because it burns less tires, but it does make me take a point of damage. So I'm playing this one, which means I burn two tires. I'll only burn one, and I'll, I'll burn another card as well. I'll get rid of this card. So I only took one. And, um, right, but... I also have to take damage. Now I'm hoping I won't get permanent damage because I'll just repair it at the pit. So I draw and the damage I take is a temporary damage, no big deal. And so that's one, two, three. I'm gonna hit the late break and now I'm gonna try and beat a 50 on a blind draw. And a 40, I did it because I'm hazardous. That means I get to move one, two and I just punched right back up. Um, now, unfortunately, if I still had movement points, well, no, I can't because I'm on a corner. If you're on a corner, you can't pass anybody, but Next turn, this guy's going to get to go, and I'm going to try and start lapping people, which is where these lap tokens come in. All right, so that's it for me. I'm about to lap somebody. Now, this guy, he gets to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So he ends up in this corner. Jen's turn. She draws a card. Still can't get a four. This is ridiculous. The, the gods are against her. But what is she going to do? All right, so one, two, three. If she takes a three, if she has a five, she can get that plus two. If she has a three, she can get that plus one. Now, she already used her only four that she's ever had this whole game. So she can't, oh, no, one, two, three, four, five. She can't get to that. So I think she'll just go for the three to get the plus one. So what is she going to play? I think she will play a three that gets her more cards. That gets her another card. Come on, be a four. Or not, or not. Just don't be a four. That's fine, too. So Jen just moved up one, two, three to get that plus one next turn. This guy goes one, two, three. This guy goes one, two, three. One, two, one, two, and one, two. Okay, there we go. Right. And again, don't worry, Jen is not out of this game yet. You know, she's only a half a lap behind, and I'm going to start slowing down. If I can even ever catch up to these slow folks. All right, moving on. It is time 
for the second um, yellow guy to pit. So, again, we look to whoever's in the first place. That'd be this guy. This guy moves back. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so that just um, opened up a clear path. There is nobody in front of Jen now because that guy just had to pit. All right. So anyway, I get to go first. I get to draw a card. It's a plus three. Now, unfortunately, this guy's here, and I cannot, I can only pass him on a straightaway. Although I could pass him by doing a late break, and I love me some late breaks. So I want to move two spaces uh, so I can get that late break. What plus two am I going to play? I'll play this plus two, which gives me an extra card. That moves me up two, and now I'm going to attempt a late break, and I got to hit a 60. And I had a 40. I did it. No problem. So that means I get to move up one more. And so, because I'm hazardous and this space is empty, I get to move up again. But more importantly, I have now lapped him. There we go. Okay. So, oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. I had to do two. I had to do the check for the, uh, I also have to do a check for him because he fights being lapped. So, um, right. That meant before I moved up. Okay, so I've done my late break. I can actually do a late break. I can move up, but I still have to do a check to see if I'm going to lap him because he's going to try and stop me from taking advantage of my late break. I believe this is correct. Um, if, if I'm wrong, somebody let me know. Uh, it could be that you can't do a late break and a lap at the same time. Not, I don't really remember that being the case. Lapping and unlapping. Uh, let's see, lapping. Uh, it just basically costs one movement point, which is the movement point I'll get for doing a late break. Uh, lap does not need to check before lapping any car. Le leader needs to check. So if I fail this, I, I, well, I, you know, I've got the one bonus. I succeeded at my late break, which means I've got it, but now I've got to see if I can actually pass him. And now I'm not doing a check against the, I'm doing a check against here. And this one, I get to choose. I can choose any card. So I want to keep my checks up. So what's my highest value card? But it can't be this 69. It has to be lower. So I think I'll replace my plus three here which was a 62 with, now I could draw blind if I wanted, but that might be a crazy low number. I'll put this 52 here, because I'm giving up a plus two. I don't want to give up my plus four. And so I still got a pretty decent check value. So that means I made it and I got past him. And because I was hazardous, I got two and I ended up behind this guy, which means I'm going to have to lap him and he has now been lapped. And now the important thing is a movement point still has to be paid to move past him. Jen still has to pay a movement point, but Jen does not have to do the check. Okay. So that's uh, my turn. And now we move backwards from me. And so moving backwards, there's this guy. And now he gets a chance to try to undo that lap. So he's going to, he gets um, two because he's slow plus two is one, two. But remember, you cannot pass in a corner. So he ends up just having to fall right behind me because he has no more movement to pass me. Then we move back. Now it's Jen's turn. She gets plus one if she plays a red. Let's have her play. Oh, she has no plus ones anymore. I was going to have her play that plus three, plus one, but she'll go on ahead and play this plus three. Which one? This one or this one? This one has her take damage, but she knows she'll be able to shake this damage off. Well, okay, she'll play this. She'll lose, three she'll lose two tires. It's three plus one is four. One, two, three, four, and she has this plus six. So she's starting to climb her way back up. I forgot, she had to draw a card again. Another plus three. Ridiculous. There are no plus fours in Jen's future ever. Okay. So that was that. This guy um, who is just pitted, he now leaves the pit and he gets um, three plus two is one, two, three, four, five. This guy gets one, two, three. This guy gets one, two, what is here? One, two, three. This guy gets one, two. This guy gets one, two. All right. And we are done with that. And now almost everybody is going to have to pit. Almost everybody is going to fall back two spaces except for two of the yellows. Two of the yellows won't. So this yellow, whoever yellow is in last place, this turn will not have to fall back. But I'm gonna have to fall back six spaces, Jen's gonna have to fall back six spaces, etc., etc. on the next turn when the really big pit happens. But it's, um, I'm still in the lead. I'm gonna wanna move and I'm gonna lap this guy and then I gotta lap this guy. I could almost lap these guys. So I'm gonna have a lot of pitfalls. Sooner or later, my luck is gonna run out and I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna fail checks and I'm gonna fail to pass these. And that's gonna give Jen, because nobody's in front of Jen. Jen can actually start picking up the pace now, particularly if she ever gets a plus four to save her life. There are many plus fours in here. Somebody, someday she'll get one. Um, or a plus one so she can um, combine that with something else. Oh, she does have a plus one. She could have gone one more space. Or did she just draw this? Well, regardless, 
I can see my battery has less than a minute left, so I'm going to stop right there. You guys definitely have an idea. We're only halfway through, or about halfway through this race. Jen is definitely going to catch up. It's definitely going to be exciting. It's going to come down to the wire. It always does. There's these very dramatic catch-ups. But I'm, I'm, I'll talk about final thoughts type stuff when you hit the button in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.